Hi guys, Retro Trek Ralph here with another Star Trek Discovery Eagle Moss Official Starships Collection Discovery. Yeah, this is a bloody big one. Right, this is the Klingon sarcophagus ship. This is what we saw. This was the uh, was it Ship of the Dead? It was the Battle of the Binars? It was with, with the, the outside. Was it with the all the Klingons? The dead body Klingons were, but look at the size of this. This is ridiculous size. I can grab a standard, which I can't because they're all over there somewhere boxed up. I'll show you the size difference. This is absolutely ridiculous. They're massive. So, this is the uh, first special for the Discovery. Same gubbins on the box, but just a lot bigger. And the first special that came with this, I'll get out of the model in a second, I'll get up over there. Right, let's have a look here. Titan. So, so I've got like a ship special issue. Now these cost 50 quid. And uh, I did email Eagle Moss, and again, I could understand Irish Trekkie's last one well, of his, his his rant video. And basically you get in touch with them, they do not reply, they do not answer you at all. I asked if this was part of the standard collection, the um for subscribers and nobody bothered answering so I sent another message off to him again still nobody bothered answering but that's typical Eagle Moss but then it came through on the email three weeks later oh you're gonna be um, getting it and then the money came out of the account without I could have probably done without this it's too expensive that's why I'm not buying the XLs because they're just too bloody expensive so let's get into the the magazine okay length is two and a half kilometers long so, some nice detail on this. I wonder if the model's going to be as, as well detailed as this. The Sacred Sarcophagus Ship. Wasn't this the one that had the, the cloaking device? Look at this here. This looks really weird. And it's like it's like glass wrapped with, with metal. Whether or not the actual model's going to be like that, I don't know. The Battle of the Binars. Yep, yep, yep. If you haven't seen the Discovery series yet, I do recommend watching it. But just don't expect that it's... Yeah, you just have a, have a broad mind when you're watching it. It's kind of different. We've finally got in the latest episode the D7. Because this kind of looks a bit like D7. You've got the bridge section up here, your main body work, and then the... the, and the well, it doesn't, but it's got your same sort of on-the-neck design for your ship. But your D7's finally into it, and that looks amazing. I hope they do that as a big one, because it looks absolutely amazing with the D7. The other ones for the types of different houses. I, I do hope Eagle Moss don't do them. Some of the Klingon ones are... We hardly ever saw them. And it's a quick flick. It's like the Shran from the last, the last uh, review I did. It was barely on screen. It wasn't part of anything much. It was destroyed at the Battle of Binars. Or it was... Yeah, I don't fully know where it came from but stuff like this yeah we saw a lot of the ship it was in quite a few episodes but i don't know i'm not fully happy with the klingon ships that looks like a cleave ship which is coming soon like the huge hull underneath to cut through without firing which does seem a bit weird for the 23rd century but you want if you want to read these go buy your own or pause Post through the video so I can have a good read at these. But let's have a look. We've got 12 issues there. Which ones haven't we got? So we have, 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 have not. So that's a Shran there. That was the unpronounceable. Or was that the unpronounceable one? So at least we've got so far got three Klingon ships. And the um the Vulcan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight starships, and then nine with the Glen. But that's always the next issue that I'll be getting. I think people have already got that one already anyway. Possibly even the worker bee that's after that. But again, I'm miles behind people who get the... I don't know how they get them so early. 
but it's you've got to be a bit patient with something like this, I think. But I don't know. So let's get into the model and let's zoom you out a little bit. Let's try with lights on this one, shall we? My new lighting in here. You notice know, there's a new board as well. So, oh my god. Oh my goodness. Right, okay. 6767A slash A. Anybody who's interested? Okay, this looks interesting, shall we say. The last Discovery one I got from Eagle Moss was the second Tardigrade. And I'm not happy with that one either because there's a toe missing. So the first one was smashed to pieces, the second, second one is, uh, yeah, has a toe missing. It's not even like I actually can find the toe in the box. But, um, yeah, this is damn peculiar, this. This feels heavy, but in the wrong places. I don't know, it, it doesn't feel... Oh, God, That's a, that was like a Y-Wing from Star Wars. Hmm. Now, which way is up? Oh, it's another one of these ones again. It's the same on both sides. Yes, yes. Right, <sighs> wish me luck on this one. I'm going to go and do a triangular flyby. Let me zoom in a little. Now, can we focus? Thank you. Look at that. That's, there's a lot of work in this. I mean, these extra flashy bits, I don't know. It, it kind of... They're the clear plastic parts. Go back to the nacelle there. The clear plastic parts that seem to be painted a little bit on top of, but... It doesn't seem to have worked. It looks good, but it looks like it's covered in jelly. As American friends would call it, um, jam. We call jam what they call jello. No, no, there's jello, isn't it? Jams, no, oh, I don't know. <sighs> Potato, monkey, I don't know. So there's a back end of the ship. There's no point in me going on the underneath because it's symmetrical on both, yeah. With kind of different paint dabbing inside there to there, but that's all. Looks dirty. But yeah, let's have a look at the um, the clear parts. So there's all the section here is like clear parts, and these extra bits stuck on afterwards. But you can see the paintwork there. It looks, I don't know. They've been splattered onto it, and then these extra fin parts, like we saw on the bird of prey, are there. This section on the back of here, the metal, well, it's not metal, it's plastic, but the metal rear launch or something on the back, but it's kind of odd that this section here is all clear, clear blue plastic. I don't know. It's very odd. It's reminiscent of the back end and the front end of a um, Klingon attack cruiser from the next gen. Oh, I don't know. Let's get up on the... There's, there's some... I think that's the metal section there in the middle, but there's some hell of a piece of work there. Massive detail on this. And then you're left with such a weak point. Look at the thinness of the, the neck there. The side of the bridge, holes either side, for absolutely no reason. You can't tell where anything is. If that's a bridge, if that's a bridge, if that's a bridge, that's a weapon. You just don't know. Let's get inside, if we can, one of the engines. I can't get in to be focused. Oh, anyway, that's as good as I can get. A little bit of redness round, but it's nothing as much as the pictures, unfortunately. Same on the other side. Oh, excuse me. Same on the other side. But I wouldn't have thought that Klingons have a perfectly round, circular part when you've got all this jaggedness, all the the wings or the the fins and. 
ribs and all sorts. A couple of perfectly round. I don't dislike the design. There's a lot of strange, like, like this part here, it's kind of rounded. I don't know. I like it and I'd like to put it on a collection on a shelf somewhere. Which I don't, I usually box them up, like you know. But it's almost like if, if the centre was glass and then you added on these extra parts over the years. Hmm. Now let's see how and where this fits, shall we? Um, um, all right, get the book. I am not going to do this wrong. Right, so it goes over the, there. Ooh, that looks iffy. No. No. Ah, so it goes on one way? Yeah, because I'm trying to put it that way around. It's thinner at the front than it is the back. Okay, there's a slight difference with it. So, that end is kind of wider than these two ends. So they go on the front. Okay, and it sits on there. Pretty. I must make something one day where I can actually dis display these. And get the camera off to the side and do a different angle, maybe. Maybe I'll do like a recap sort of video. Actually, another side bit there, look at that there. Massive, it's almost like the Indian sort of um, pinwheel. And the blue part, I'd, I'd agree with these blue parts on the side, yes. Maybe green for Klingons. But, let's get rid of that, I'm going to drop that, I know I am. So there's so many different angles on this to look at this. This is really nice. Oh, they're going to break. Can I pull them out? No, not yet. Yeah, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm warming to this one very quickly. Got some light behind that to shine through. And if we can do something, have I got a torch? Probably not. No. Well, I think I have. Let's try something, shall we? Hmm. Almost glitters. That's lovely. Let's see if we can get a warp. Get it through. Oh, it blows up top of there, it doesn't go through as much. So the plastic kind of. Yeah, I'm showing it through the side and there's nothing at all coming out. So that's another panel being stuck on. Or is it? Yeah, I'm getting no light at all through on these side bits. It's a shame. Not so meant to light up, I'm just doing that just, just, just for the sake of it. Bridge. Hmm. I bet with a lighting kit on it, possibly. Hmm. I don't know. What do you think? Comment down below. Tell me what you, um, if you think is any good, any bad. But uh, lately, lately, I think it's getting a bit hard with Eagle Moss. They really are chucking out some a hell of a lot of models. I was a little bit iffy to start with getting the Discovery Collection. With it being one a month and being the same price as, or being more priced than getting two from the standard editions, it's getting a little bit out of hand. The amount of specials and, and all sorts of stuff that's coming out with with Eagle Moss. I mean, another customer service is, is it, I, I can think it's strained because we've got that many different ranges to do, and I think it's just they're over pushing themselves. But with with people like me, Irish Trekker, and others, uh, Trek Collector as well, you bought these from the start. We were we were committed from the start, and yeah, it's now taking a little bit of a toll trying to get all of these. I mean, this month I'm absolutely skinned. I hope there's no extras coming out. I've already bought the, um, oh, there's the Enterprise, the Mirror Universe Enterprise D, the Dreadnought. Already bought that one, so that's coming soon, but it's getting a bit out of hand with the amount 
especially when they're, they're considering stopping the um, the standard collection because they're running out of stuff to do even though the, 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 there's plenty more sh starships in the sea shall we say so yeah I quite like that one so I'll put this on my board thanks a lot for watching please like subscribe I've got a lot of links down down below in the comments for if you want to follow me on social media so yeah quite like this one so I'll see you next video bye for now Just for shits and giggles, that's the size of the Shran compared to that. It's not double, but not far off. Yeah, a lot bigger. <laughs>